Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, aka Redbeard. So we're gonna we're gonna try one of these. Now we're backwards again. Topo Chico hard seltzer. Oh yeah, camera's down here. I flipped it. I'm looking over here. Uh, this is strawberry guava. So I like my can opener. Anyway, put that back in there. Don't you? So, some questions, or not questions, it's just shit I'm going to talk about. It smells like strawberry. That's refreshing. So, there we go. <laughs> so, some, a, a comment by, oh, I think it's, I think his name's Elio. E-L-E-O or something. He is from Russia. And he commented on one of the videos about protein intake. And I'm going to preface all of this by saying that I am not, I do not have a degree in nutrition. I do not have a degree in anything <laughs> except for uh, the school, except from the school of hard knocks, but this is just from my experience and what I've dealt with over my lifetime. I'm gonna do a little bit of a little bit of this, just for some. There's not much weight on it; it's like 35 pounds, but in this fashion, 35 pounds feels like a lot. So we're just pumping it up a little bit. Plus, with this handle. It feels really awkward to cup in really far. It puts a lot of pressure on your wrist. So, I wanted to talk about sh shit, uh, calories and protein intake, and then kind of expand on what I think people who have a hard time gaining weight should do. So, yes. You do need protein to build muscle, but how much protein to build said muscle is debatable, in my opinion. Ever, a lot of people think uh, one and a half to two times, what is it? One and a half to two grams per pound of body weight. I think that is close, but I think they instead of instead of saying per body weight, I think it should say per pound of lean mass you have. So if you're a 200 pound guy, for easy math, if you're 200 pounds, 10% body fat, that means 10% 10 of your weight is fat, right? So 20 pounds is fat. Now, a 200 pound guy at 10% body fat, he's pretty freaking lean. He probably don't need to do anything else. I'm sure he's got striations for the most part, or he's, got, he's, va he's very vascular. Maybe not striated, but vascular. So, I think the one and a half to two grams per pound of lean body weight is a closer is a closer equation that would probably be good for most people. Now, depending on your goals, if you're a 250 pound bodybuilder and you're on all kinds of PEDs and you need to gain 25 pounds in the off season, then you're probably going to have to go a little bit more than that. So, Unless you have a doctor and a nutritionist and you've been doing it for 10 plus years, maybe five years, uh, you're probably not really going to know how much, how many calories or how many grams of protein you actually need. And in my opinion, shit, so far away, in my opinion, most people take in too much protein. Uh, I do currently use a protein powder. It's part of the 
supplements and line of products that I just recently started selling. So if you want to know about that, just ask. But uh, I believe most people are taking in too much protein. And in that case, you're just shitting it out. So an easy way without having any kind of medical degree an easy way to figure out how much or how much you might need would be start at start at one gram one gram of protein per pound of lean body weight and then round out the rest of your calories with carbohydrates and fats and if you're like Branson like we talked the other day you might want to load up heavily on the fats and pair them with the carbohydrates because that's going to be the easiest way to gain weight and any kind of weight gain for somebody who has that build is good um, because he's not gonna he's not gonna put on a lot of fat, especially if he's in the gym lifting. So this whole this whole thought process of gain lean mass or gain lean muscle. Muscle itself is lean. You don't just gain lean muscle. Muscle is already lean. You have to gain fat, a little bit of fat, while you're gaining muscle. It's just gonna happen. Unless you're on some fucking trend. Which I don't advise, unless you're on serious PEDs, then you're going to gain a little bit of fat while you're trying to put on muscle. It's just going to happen. So, with that said, I came up just on the ride home from the gym. I devised, oh, I didn't really devise it. This is actually this snack, I guess is basically what us poor kids growing up had for dessert after our dinner. We were too poor to have ice cream or cookies or anything like that. So mom would make us a bowl of sugared rice and it would be a bowl of rice, which I hated rice by itself at the time, with a tablespoon or two of butter and then like a tablespoon of sugar melt the butter down mix it all up it's just sweet rice it goes down real easy so i did the calorie or i i figured out the calories if you were to take an eight ounce cup of milk which is about 150 calories a cup of rice which is about 200 calories a tablespoon of butter which is another 100 calories and uh i would opt for like raw honey instead of granulated sugar <clears throat> a tablespoon of, sh of honey is about 65 calories which will put you I think I got them all in there which will put you over 500 calories and it don't take nothing to scarf down scarf down like a cup of milk and a, a bowl of rice that's sweet I mean you could eat that with every meal if you're trying to gain weight and wouldn't cost you a whole lot uh, another thing you could look into, there's an old program, or it's a cutting edge program from the early 1900s. Uh, it's called, the book is called Super Squats. It called for drinking upwards of a gallon of milk a day. And this was back in the time when they all got their milk fresh daily from the milkman. Uh, I just thought of a joke. My brother always told me I was uh, the milkman's son because I was the only redhead. But anyway, adding raw milk to your diet, if you can stomach it, if you don't have lactose intolerance, would be the easiest way to add calories without filling up. So that's what I told him. That's what I told Branson. So find some milk. I mean, if you drink eight ounce cup, you can you can chug an eight ounce cup of milk like that, no problem. Um, that's what a it's an eighth of a gallon, no, 
16 ounces. 16 ounces is an eighth of a gallon, so milk, raw milk, it's probably the easiest way to add calories if you're if that's what you're needing to do, put on size. But Joe's out. Alright, that's all I got. Um, hopefully that cleared it up a little bit. That's not bad. It's not super sweet. Uh, I mean, it's Topo Chico. If you're in the Southwest, you probably know about Topo Chico. I mean, everybody down here loves it. But 4.7% alcohol, it's not too bad. I can drink a few of those without really doing any damage. Got a little bit of sugar in it, 100 calories. But anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any other questions about nutrition and diet and training, like I said, I'm not an expert. I don't look the best. I do have a lot of experience, and I can give you my honest, unbiased opinion. Thanks for watching. Like always, drink some whiskey, lift some weights, drink some Topo Chico. Uh, share with your friends and family. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.